what they should do is stick to the Cooper Rush game plan. Okay, whatever that game plan is, put that game plan book together when the when the team walks in on on Wednesday, whether you're using a laptop or you got the old school three ring binder, I want Cooper Rush game plan LA Rams. I need my quarterback to be 15 or 27, 200 and something yards in the, in the air, another 30 on the ground, two touchdowns and no turnovers and I need my defense to play to have a chance. And that guy should be Dak Prescott. If they can duplicate what they've done with Cooper Rush in these three games with Dak Prescott, the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl. Mark this down, and I'm not saying it. I'm, this isn't Michael Irvin up here talking. I'm just telling you, that recipe is portable. Well, first Period. of all, I could tell it's not Michael Irvin. You're not sweating. That's the first thing. Michael Irvin's up there <laughs> preaching and sweating. <laughs> I mean, I try to get Dak Prescott back to play as soon as possible. But there is something that just wants me to – let the dice roll and, and, and see how see how Cooper Rush does, at least in the opening quarter of the game. Just like the guy has won multiple games in a row. He's played at a pretty decent level. It hasn't been like a world beater, but still the team seems to operate the right way. I still know that the ceiling is higher to reach with Dak Prescott more than it is with Cooper Rush, but I still let it roll for a little bit. He's played yeah, 75, yeah, more than well, 75% of the season, right? You know what? He's forced it's rolled long QB. enough, Jay. If he's ready to play, he needs <laughs> to get back in. You can't keep messing around with Cooper Rush. I hear, I hear you. Here's the bottom line, guys. It's the Rams, right? It's not an easy game. And then it's the Eagles. I'm letting Cooper – I'm riding the hot hand, man. Come on. You're at the craps table. You're, you know, you're making money. Don't change a thing. Keep rolling. And, and my point is this. You go against the Rams with Cooper Rush. If he loses, boom, easy. You put Dak back in. If he wins. His first game back versus the Eagles? Uh, nope. If Divisional he wins, level? I'm staying with Cooper Rush, and that gets you by the Eagles, win or lose. And now if you lose, you put Dak back in. It's good. Everyone feels good. And if you win, I'm not taking the quarterback out who's not losing, period. The not game doing plan, it. man. It's the game plan. But it could, you, you, key, it could all be you the, need him to do is do what Cooper Rush is doing. And if he can do what Cooper Rush is doing, you put him back in with right. that with that solid. Soon as they lose, sound game plan. Soon as they lose, Key, come on, Key. What's the keep it ninety at least, not a hundred. You need a wiggle room, but <laughs> keep it ninety. If you're running the team and you're not losing, you're not switching the quarterback. But the right problem now. is the problem that I have is it, it's not that simple. I just gave a guy a bunch of money, so it's hard to just say, all right, this isn't Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe. Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe was different. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.